sick and everything, you played the first four games. <laughs> yep. Now, this is also very much an LPL pick. They love Kassadin over there into the fist. So with the flask start, you know, feel more friendly going into this one. Now, AHQ, while they got the dragon, Edward Gaming got a ton of damage on that top lane turret. And Ooh. it's actually going to be going down in the next few seconds as the next wave crashes and Ziv being here or not. So Edward Gaming get enough on this one to get the first turret kill of the game. And it's going to be a lot of money on the def, giving him a pretty quick BF sword. Quick night there. Mountain didn't really make a move, so the overall kill pressure here is down on Pawn if he decides to flash away from this situation. Oh! No, they're able to just zero him out as Mountain gives him a nice body slap. And makes up for these 10 CS he's behind. Now, Coral might be in trouble. The saplings, they've died. He's now stuck on the tower. Nobody's left for him. Ignite comes in great, dodges some of the CC, Ooh. but it's going to be nearly enough. Alvis holds aggro for now, walks away, does die for his sins, and actually oh. death with the saving flash heal keeps Koro alive. Dive does not succeed. AHQ knows about it. No flash or heal on death. That is the lane I want to see AHQ abuse. They're likely to do so. You can see they're already fighting around this lane. They catch up on the Mako. Force gonna flash away, the blue buff's gonna be theirs as well, and the turret probably not far away. Clear love goes in anyway, though pops the CC. A ton of damage coming through. Mountain goes down to Mako overall. Albus on the way out. Double buff the Thresh doing a lot of damage, and Def gonna pick up a cleanup kill as well. A third casualty in as Clear Love picks up West Door. What a turnaround by EDG. In a row here, and already the pressure has backed. AHQ is in response mode now. They actually, and stays in the top lane. They may get Core out of this one. Just a few more shots to take him down, and it looks like EDG will start to back from their bottom lane fight here as they finally pick up that kill onto Koro. Lane start defending against the Lucian, the push that you know is gonna come from AHQ once he's getting a bit of fun maybe in the top lane and another kill, potentially. You don't want to feed this caster oh, in. Oh. <laughs> His build does take time, but Worth. once he hits the three items, he becomes an absolute monster. You see top laners who freeze get punished because you dive the mid laner, stuff gets really crazy. You see West Door in kind of a weird spot, but in this case, both top laners actually are freezing, trying just to scale on up. Ooh. A great dodge by West Door, but now actually a fight may just start. Clearly going to get hit after the shark comes through, or is it Irv? And more stuns still coming through. Ziv really wants to do something, forcing the Q over the wall, but a re-engage by Westor hops away from the play. Core with the front line goes in onto Albus. This Nautilus taking a plenty of punishment. And where is Daft? Where is Pawn? They're joining now the fight. EDG could be re-engaging and picking up some kills. Ziv looks like he could back in with Nard. Mids the wall up and they do take down Mako. Now onto Westor. Koro is actually low though. That Nard ultimate just shoves everybody up towards the top side of the fight and repositions AHQ to be able to turn around. Oh. Death, can he clean it? Actually, Han gets out of vision. Now he's got to turn towards Mountain. Is there enough to get over a wall and dodge out on Deft? The ward is there. It's one last boomerang. You better duck in Han's, or in Mountain's. Oh, he's no. it out with the barrel slow. Oh. Oh. He had to suck in for that one. <laughs> He's okay, unless Koro decides, okay. Oh, what? okay, let's see, home guard. Home guard. Flying through, that's a fast tree. I don't think he's gonna be cutting anything down on this one though. Quickly slowed down and shut down on the home guard speed. They are the team with the control. Maokai pushing down the mid lane, Cassidy pushing down the bot lane. They're still all grouped up on this side of the river, protecting the pink ward that's so important for them. HG do not have any deep vision in this one, not on the river at least. That's the on the hunt. Looks like they're not going to be able to get in too much range. Over the wall doesn't give us too many options to the rest of the team. Pong can still make it over. They're getting under their own turret now. EDG gets bounced back. A great explosive cast from Mountain. Oh! And the follow-up is there from Han. Piercing light through the entire team. Mountain chugs. The passive can't keep him alive. And it is a one-for-one one in a quick fight. The Dragon is still alive. Westar is not done yet. He's going back in. The Shark comes in, but he's exhausted all the same. Not a lot of damage coming through. Force to jump back up, but Sif goes in. Goes for the Mega Koro tries to limp away from this one. Look at but Anne is getting time to hit. Oh. He's going to pick up two. And Pod still can't find anyone to deal any real damage to. Finally chunks out Anne. You've now got to be careful of this blue buff. Cassidy. House has come at him, but he's staying alive. And he gets two kills for himself. And guys, there's more fights. And it's going to be a fight that Edward Gaming might not like. Pod has to jump over the wall for this one. AHQ happy to re-engage. Nice hook over the wall. Now I'm getting caught out. But Def getting hit up by Westor goes down to the passive. And now two. more kills come. He's all alone. Pawn's 
left them. He's left Kuro to die by himself. The tree falls alone to the forest, but AHQ is there to listen to it happen. A self-sufficient top laner, and though he's losing the matchup, he's still able to create some kind of pressure, but Mountain now getting cut out here. Pretty hard to miss a champion Ooh. that big, especially with a name that big. And he's going to try to run away. <laughs> a great explosive cast. Going to buy some time, but in comes Koro. He's going to find Anne, but the rest of the team still goes for Mountain. But it's still going to be the shutdown. AD carry falls, and Alp is going to be maybe the next one to drop. Yes, it is. Pawn doing so much work. Now catching up towards Mountain this. Still Mountain alive. is alive, but low. He's maybe a hill at this point. And EDG, with plenty of life, could push down another turret. Slowly keeping this one alive, but I don't know for how long. There's Koro, the one to dive in again and prompt the fight for the rest of the team. Taking it as pawn, and he'll be able to go in and out safely. Ow. Clear love, swinging the flail, brings it down on West Door's head. A, a slow push with your minions, and then you have this big team fight. Even if you lose it, you might force them back to Ooh. clear the minions. We're going to see another engage, by the way. It's coming now. But all oh. pops on his son, and Pawn's going to follow up, and down he goes. Little time. And now Mountain is being caught out. Wow, why is he even in the mid lane right now? That's going to be a quick pickup. Jumps over time the wall, but nope. a great hook for style points. Pawn, 6 3 and 9. He's got the most kills in the game. Baron for EDG. This is going to be a very hard contest for ADHQ. Don't have really enough to he get in. Out coming. Help is trying. Ziv is going to gnaw out just now. He locks down Clear Love. Baron actually has about 1,500 HP. Nobody can really keep fighting for it, but they're trying to push everybody. So Baron is attacking them. Pawn picks up a double. Then it's going to be Clear Love as he gets the Baron. Beautiful fight and just in and out by EDG on that one. No cross map objectives taken for when EDG goes for a fight. Paul, oh, good, goodbye. Look at his build. He had enough oh. gold to go back and get another large rod for himself. He's getting really, really fed. Nine kills now. Ten kills in the last game. Here we go, Ever Gaming. They're great at playing alongside Baron Nasher buff. And look at this. A hook on Albus goes Ooh. down. Mago gets the kill because he wants one too. Koro, where else would he be? Inside the enemy ranks. And they're just pushing AHQ around. Inhibitor gonna go down 29 minutes in, but more kills, why not? Ziv hooked up and killed, a stun on the mountain. He's gonna have to retreat as well. AHQ on the back foot. Edward Gaming looking to push in to win this game to start the series out zero and two. A re-engage comes in. I don't know if it's gonna be enough because Pawn is crushing everybody. A shutdown does come through, but I think Westor has to go back and was out on the hook. Mako gets his second kill of the fight. 3, 4, and 19 for him. Koro on the fountain, not of his own will, but he might still survive the fight all the same. EDG. It's going to take him some time. The real turbulence from Mako there. Taking one down on the fountain. It took a while for EDG to find a crack in AHQ's armor. Once they did, they went from 15 to 27 kills and Baron immediately. And then on to the Nexus. EDG take game two over AHQ. Talked about how when we had two comps that does the same.